Hi, kindergarten. I'm so excited for our next project. It's one of my favorites. This year, we have been talking all about color. We have already talked about the primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. But I want to jog your brain a little bit. Could someone raise their hand and tell us why we call the primary colors the primary colors? Who could raise their hand and tell us why? Awesome. So the reason is, is that you can use the red, yellow, and blue to create basically any color that you want. Remember, if you mix yellow and blue, you get, hope you said green. If you mix red and yellow, you'll get orange. If you mix red and blue, you'll get purple. We should have already seen the story Sky Color. Now, what's great about that story is it really shows us that what you think something looks like isn't always what it could be. Even though we th always think of the sky as blue, the sky can be a number of colors. Let's go ahead and have a turn and talk. What are some colors that the sky could be? Awesome. Remember, the sky could be blue during the day, but maybe it's really cloudy and it turns white. At night, there is no color, it turns black, but you can see the stars. Maybe it's morning and you see the reds, oranges, and yellows. In the morning, maybe when you're riding the bus or riding in the car or walking to school, you might see the sky change. You're gonna see warm skies, say warm colors. The warm colors are red, orange, and yellow. The reason we call these warm colors is because they remind us of things that are, well, warm. So think of fire or lava. During the morning, the sky will reflect these colors, red, orange, and yellow. These are the warm colors. So we're going to be creating a sunset or sunrise silhouette with some warm colors. Now that might be a new word for you. The word silhouette just means the outline. Take a look at these palm trees. You can see the shape of the leaves, the trunk, uh, the branches, but do they have any color? I hope you said no. They're just black. You can't see the green, you can't see the brown of the trunk. You really can't see nothing except the outline. It's all filled in with black. So we call that the silhouette because we can't see what's inside, but we can see what's on the outside or the outline of the shape. Today, we should have walked in with a few different things. You should have a piece of paper that we will be painting on. You should have a paint set, paper towel, and a paintbrush. Here's how it should look. Your paper towel and paintbrush should be on top of your paper right now. This should be close and your hands are not touching it. Give me a thumbs up once you are ready. Awesome. What I'm gonna do in a moment is I'm gonna pass out this big old Sharpie. I'm gonna pass out one to each table you're gonna write your name in class code, but I need you to watch first before I even pass them out. Normally, we always put our name in the bottom left-hand corner. Today, we are not gonna do that. For our painting, we're actually gonna do it in the top left-hand corner. The reason is, and you'll just have to imagine this, is we're gonna paint this with warm colors, and then we're gonna put a tree down here with some grass. If we do that, it'll cover up our name if we put it down in the bottom left-hand corner. So today we're gonna put it in the top hand left-hand corner. So watch me first and then I'll pass out the markers. You and your partner are gonna write your name at the top of your paper. So I'm gonna write Mr. Boatfield because that is my name. Then you're gonna write your class code. Remember, we always put our class code in the circle. Give me a thumbs up. Once you have your name and class code written at the top, you do not need to write big. I would write small. Awesome. So in a moment, I will pass out the water. Remember, we need water to use the watercolor paints. Today we're using red, orange, and yellow. Who could raise their hand and tell me what these three colors are called? Awesome. I hope someone said warm colors because these are the colors that remind us of the things that are warm like fire, or lava. So for this project, you're gonna be using those colors to create clouds. I'll show you how I do it, but there's no right or wrong way except for how we get the paint. Whenever you need the paint, you take your paintbrush, and remember, Mr. Paintbrush does not like being smashed against the paper. <sighs> oh, got a little dust on there. 
He does not like being smashed against the paper. He also doesn't like it when people play with his hair. So please avoid doing those things. All you do is you dip, let it drip, and then you choose your color. I'm gonna start with the yellow. Spin it around a few times. You do not need to push hard. If I see you pushing hard, I'll know that Mr. Paintbrush needs a new home and you can do this with crayon. You're going to do little clouds with your paintbrush. Just give it some little circles and then you're gonna mix things up. I might dip, let it drip, and then dry off, you dab. No, not this kind of dab, this kind of dab, so that you can get that color off. Dip again, dip, let it drip. And then you're going to go into the orange. Swirl, 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 swirl. And then you can start a new color. You're gonna fill this up with different warm colors. Just remember, anytime you're switching colors, you gotta dip, let it drip, dry off, dip, let it drip, new color. I'm gonna go with this orange. The more you stir around the oval, the more color you're gonna get. It's gonna be pretty cool seeing all these different effects. You're gonna fill up this whole paper with the warm colors. I wanna try yellow again. Dip, let it drip, dry off, AKA dab, no, not that kind. Dip, let it drip, and swirl, 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 swirl. Ooh la la, looking good. So I'm gonna fill this up with warm and cool colors. Doesn't matter where you put them. I think you should look closely so you can see all the cool effects that are happening. And I'll be right back. The best way to get those really cool clouds, remember, is to after when you're done swirling with paint, do little circles. Cause they'll start to look like itty bitty little clouds. All right, so I am done. The reason I know it's done is because the whole thing is covered with color. I shouldn't see that white paper anymore. You covered it all the way up with those warm colors. Now, since I'm done, I'm gonna help my invisible friend finish, but you would have someone next door. If you are alone, you don't have to help someone finish. You can use do the next step on your own. However, if you have someone that you're sitting by, you need to help them finish before you move on to the next activity. If you and your partner are finished, or if you're all alone, you're gonna take the paintbrush, put it in the water cup, leave it there. Next, you're gonna take the paint tray, close it up. Before I take the paint cup and the paint tray to the back counter, you're gonna take your placemat with both hands, both hands, both hands, how many hands? Hope you said two. Follow the green arrows. Oh, now I'm confused. Do I put this on the bottom or the top? Hope you said bottom. Looks like I had some first graders that did not follow directions, so I'll be moving their artwork down. Please don't be like them. Y'all are way cooler than those first graders who can't do this themselves. All right, now I'm gonna follow the green arrows back to my seat. Take your paper towel, move it a few times. Take this paper towel, throw it away. I have one trash can here next to the purple table and then also one near the orange table. Those are the two trash cans in the room. Then you're gonna take your paint tray. This can be done by one person. Maybe the other person does the other one or maybe one person does it all, I don't know. Follow the green arrows and then place your tray neatly on this counter right here so that it doesn't dry out. Using those green arrows back to my seat. Gonna take my water cup I'm holding it with one hand. If you could please hold it with two hands, that way it's less likely to drop all over the floor and have a big old mess to clean. And then here's the easiest thing you do. You just put your paint cup with both of your paint brushes in the sink and you are done. Now that you and your partner are done and your table is clean, you can choose a new activity. Today, here's the activities I'm gonna allow. You can do free draw, cubes, or blocks. Remember, if you're doing cubes or blocks, four people each, you can do free draw back at your table with the markers and crayons. We are not free painting, we are free drawing. So that does not mean that you can use the paint on the free draw paper. The paint is for our projects. Alrighty, kindergartners, I'm so excited to create these sunset clouds and the next time we'll make some trees, it's gonna be beautiful and it's gonna be one of your favorite projects. So I'm so excited. I'll see y'all next time, bye.